Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Please, 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 please share this broadcast as you join. Share this broadcast as you join. Don't forget to click your hand on the like and the love button. Share to... <laughs> Okay, share to uh, uh, WhatsApp groups, share to different groups on Facebook, tag all those coconut coconut head people, tag all those papa 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 people, tag them to this broadcast. Uh, yeah, yeah, UNICEF, UNICEF, yeah, I greet you. Yeah, tag them, tell them to come, tell them to come. Tell them to come. Good evening from this side. Uh, I want to say something to see one. Then I am going to advise the Uka on serious people as they journey, as they prepare to journey to Nigeria. Yeah. I want to give them a very good advice. In fact, I'm going to start with that advice. So that even if they don't follow this broadcast to the end, let it be known somewhere that uh, 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 unpopular opinion advise them ahead of this their fruitless journey. I need to advise them on what to expect because CR0 being covered with his selfish interest may not tell them things and things they are likely to encounter as they journey to Nigeria here. So if you know them, tag them, tell them to come and listen to the voice of reasoning. Tell them to come and listen to the voice of reasoning. This advice I am giving them I am giving it to them from a place of love. I am giving them this advice from a place of love. Hmm? Tag people. Tag people to this broadcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. James Ferguson, watching from Lusaka, capital city. Daniel Katongo, Siawan is already finished. If you keep saying time to finish Siawan, it will look like we are just starting. He's already finished. My brother is already finished. Is that what is left again? He's already finished completely. So I'm watching. I want the numbers of people here to at least get to something so that I make sure. If you love, look, let me tell you, let me tell you, I don't know the people who are undertaking on this journey eh? to Nigeria here, to the southeast, to Imo State, to go and meet Siawan. But I need to advise them. If any one of them is your husband, if any one of them is your wife, if any one of them is your relative, Take this advice that I'm going to give them this night very serious. Do not say that unpopular opinion did not say that. Yes. 
I need to prepare them. Because when we talk about what is happening here, when I talk about Sia One, eh? chasing shadows, chasing rats, why his house is on fire. You will think I am lying. Now, let me tell I will tell you one story. There is somebody around here. There are two guys. Sometime two years ago, it's already two years plus. Just like a joke. It is already two years plus. They are from this area where I am. One day, uh, they wanted to go to somewhere called Atane in Anambra State to go and buy yam. You know yam, yam that we eat here. So, it is said that uh, yam are cheaper that side in Atane. So, they wanted to go and buy yam. Now, they left here on that fateful day in the morning to go to Atane to go and buy yam. Now, these guys are uh, uh, they belong to all this local vigilant vigilante group here. So they, in order to make their to stop any obstruction on the road, they decided to go with the community security vehicle. They embarked on that journey. Ah, Mr. I open, I greet you, sir. They embarked on that journey two years plus ago. One of them has a wife and the three kids. The other one has a wife and four kids. They embarked on that journey with that security vehicle. Till today, till today, nobody has seen them till today. The news we heard was that they were ambushed somewhere in Atame. Those people who ambushed them took them, put them into their own vehicle, Damage that security vehicle there, off they go. Till today, it's two years plus. We have never seen or heard anything from them. I am trying to advise your husband and your or your fathers, your brothers and your sisters, your relatives, as they are trying to embark on this journey of selfishness. They should not say that unpopular opinion did not prepare them very well. Siawa may not tell them because him, he is so greedy and thirsty for money. So there is no way I, I, someone would expect that he's going to tell them, no, 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 look at what is happening. Now, listen again. Siawa reside in Imo State, right? Yeah. Banampundu JJ, wash, my friend, and learn. Wash and learn. Remain in this page so that you will learn. I want you to have sense. Yes, I want you to have sense. You need to have a lot of sense. It seems like you belong to those group whose number six here has gone on a holiday. Just make sure you are glued on this page so that you will learn a lot. Now, I want you to go to your phone and Google the incident that happened in Onuimo two days ago. Onuimo is in Imo State. It happened two days ago. It's in Imo State where Siawan is right now. Yes. Now, the 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 uh, uh, President General of that community, Onimo, and the six six uh, uh, village heads, they are chiefs. Six chiefs, community heads in that community. They were gathered somewhere in the in village square, in a hall, in a village hall, having a meeting. When some group of armed men invaded that place, wasted the president general and the six community ships. It happened two days ago in Onwimo, in Imo State. When we talk about insecurity that is happening here, and Sia One is busy going to Zambia, why Imo State is boiling? I'm not trying to say that it is only Imo State, but the rate in which 
the insecurity in Imo State is increasing, is becoming very alarming. As you journey to come to this place for your selfish interest, make sure you pray. Make sure you call upon that Sangoma or what that used to. Forget about Siawana Brakatabra. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Now you may say, ah, no, Siawana has promised us he's going to provide security for us. It is more risky to move with those security men, considering what is happening right now in this country. The reason is because these people have formed the habit of going after convoys. Yes. Going after convoys, men who move with security people, when they come there, when they, when they get to them, they are going to enter them. By entering into them, you know what I mean. I don't want to say some certain things because of Facebook. Now, they will enter them, waste them, and go away with their... <laughs> so, their first target are even those people who move with security. That is why you see Sia one. his movement is restricted from his house to his warehouse, where he, he, he calls his church, from his, his, his church back to his house. How many times have you seen him moving from one occasion to another occasion, from one event to another event? He has made a thousand videos in his house. He has made a thousand videos in his church. He has made a thousand videos in his village. How many times have he made a video of him moving around? Imo State is very vast. Does he even go from Imo State to Anambra? Yes. Just within the past few days, I have moved from Lagos to Anambra, from Anambra to Abia State, from Abia State to Imo State, from Imo State to Anambra State. Does he even make such movement? I am asking, does he make such movement with, with those guys? You mean he's going to make this kind of movement with those guys? It is very risky to move with those guys in this time. It is even better that you move alone. As you people prepare to journey to Nigeria, some of you should try to write your wills. Some of you should try to settle your family disputes. Put a place, give command in place before you journey to this place before you journey to this place. It is not a joke. It is not even a thing of hiding. You can't hide. It is all over the news. It is happening. We are tired of it. We want it to end. Now, we need people to, to, to speak up and not people being cowards. And not people trying to form Messiah. What are you people coming here to come and do? You are coming here to come and have a meeting you are coming here to come and give money to someone who is just there, who it is obvious that there is nothing he can do. I am confirming to you right now, there is nothing he can do. If you take a risk of coming here and the peradventure, eh, devil plays a fast one on you. Eh? You people are on your own. You people are on your own. Yes, you are on your own. Somebody who is so scared in his own uh, uh, residing area is about to take foreign guests. In this den, in this den, just to drive from here to Imo State, you are going to see more than 10 military checkpoints. You are going to see more than 7 police checkpoints. You are going to see a checkpoint before Oware where there are combined forces of NSCDC, uh, 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 police, army, and the, whatever you can call it. This is where you are coming to come and consolidate your selfish desire, which is even zero on arrival. It is zero on arrival. If your husband is part of the people who are being sent to Nigeria, hold him like this. Do not allow him to go. If your wife is among those people who are being sent, who will be sent to Nigeria to see a one. Hold her like this. If your mother or your father is among those people who will be sent to this country, 
hold them like this because they are about to walk with their legs eh, into the lion den. What may come out of it? I may have nothing more to say about it. Yeah? You see, that is how selfish people can be. He did not tell them that no, this time is not a good time to 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 to, to receive visitors here. Imo State is boiling, Southeast is boiling. Do you know how many people that has disappeared within the past three years, within the past four years? Now it keeps increasing. It keeps increasing. Now what happened? Uh, 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 one of their members who is among them in that community was picked by soldiers. Obviously, there was a leaked information about his operation and he was picked by soldiers. Now, those guys now, assuming that, yeah, it is the village heads and the, and the president general that leaked that information to them. They stormed everywhere. Yeah, the other day, it was one POS operator who is more like um, these people who do mobile money boot that was gone down with the four police officers. Yes, when those guys struck, the police officers tried to, 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 to pursue them and they retaliated and four police officers went. Yes, four police officers gone on that. This is where you want to come and have your selfish meeting. Yeah? <laughs> Write your will. Prepare very well. Prepare very well. Do not allow your selfish interest to drive you far, 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 far. This is more like my own advice. Alan C. Molenga, the governor of Imo State, is Senator Hope Uzodema. Senator Hope Uzodema. The Supreme Court governor. The Supreme Court governor, somebody who is coming to Zambia to come and dictate to you people who will be the president of Zambia, failed to do the same thing in his own state. In his own state, election was concluded. Emeki Hejioha clearly won blue, black, yellow that election. He was sworn in as the governor of Imo State. And that governor that when he was sworn in, uh, uh, the opposition parties went to court. At the high court, at the uh, uh, high court, Emeki Hedio had won. At the Supreme Court, Emeki at the uh, appeal court, Emeki Hedio had won. Now they are now at the Supreme Court. They are now at the Supreme Court. Magic was done. And the person who did not come second, the person who did not come third, the person who came fourth in that election, suddenly became the governor of Imo State. Till today, the people of Imo State demonstrated. They took play card to the road. They went on, 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 on uh, uh, the decree. In fact, they demonstrated for a few days. A lot of um, uh, 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 organizations came out and protested at the end of the day. Who are you protesting against? And that was how the will of the people on the ballot was, was thwarted. And just like a joke, Senator Hope was the, man, the person who came third in an election, who came fourth in an election, became the governor of Imo State till today. That is the state where Sia Wang comes from. He failed, he failed to handle his own domestic affairs. Yes, what I am saying is verifiable. I mean, you can verify if you want. What I am saying is verifiable. You can verify. I am giving you pure data. So, somebody who has failed to handle the affairs and domestic affairs going on in his own state is coming to Zambia to come and dictate to you people. Why can't he stand up against Neto Hope or the man? On one eighty or a one of a that is his title name. Senator Hope was the man. On one one of a Why can't he stand stand up against Senator Hope was the man? We all know that Imo State people wanted the Meki Hedioa. They voted him into power. 
He was eventually sworn in as the executive governor of Imo State. He was there for like two, three months to four months. That was when, within a twinkle of an eye, before Sia Wan, Sia Wan was looking like this with Godfather. Sia Wan was washing clearly with Godfather and the, and the, what are their names? The Dawn of Power. The Jagaban was washing clearly. Emeki Hediohar. Their loved ones, the one they love and cherish so much, was thrown out of the government house. And the Senator Hope of them took over today. And he is still the governor of Imo State. Hmm? Uh, Christopher Shah will still be here. You, you still need to be here. You still need to be here. I don't want you to go. Yeah, you still need to be here. Yeah? You still need to be here, perhaps. By you following us, one day you may wake up from your slumber. You are sleeping and you are dreaming. You need somebody to wake you up. I am here to wake you up. And I can assure you that I must wake you up by fire by force. I'm not begging you. It is by force. Whatever that brought you to this program is going to open your eyes. Yeah? Charity, they said, begins at home. Tell if, if anybody from that Okwa, yeah? If anybody from that Oka party is your father, is your mother, is your relative, if you allow them to embark on that journey, eh, just know that I'm not wishing them. Eh, I'm not wishing them anything bad. I'm not even saying that something will happen to them. But I am telling you that the journey they are trying to embark is indeed a very perilous one. Yes. Citing the insecurity currently in this country, they should stay with that place where they are okay. Yes. They should stay that place where they are okay. Remember, they are no more in power in case if there is need to pay ransom. That they are no more in power. Yes. They are no more in power. In case there is need for people to get them here and the demand for for one million one million dollars before they should be released you know the rest is history see one may not tell them this but i am now out of love i've developed emergency love for them eh? because human life no matter who is involved is precious and should be protected by all means yes he should be protected by all means. So tell them that unpopular opinion has advised them to look very well before they reap. They should look very well before they reap. Because if the unknown happened, I will be the first person to blow the trumpet to so high. It cannot even be hidden. It cannot be covered. Eh? Meanwhile, Tell them that we are waiting for them. Yes. Tell them that we are waiting for them. And they, by God's grace, we may monitor them, their activities, to know exactly uh, 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 what is happening. Yes. We may monitor them to know exactly. We may. Why I said may is because they are coming here is really more like fruitless and useless. So, why even waste time? Why even waste time on a fruitless journey? A journey that has already failed even before it commenced. All I did is just to show them concern. All I did is just to show them love and affection. They should use their number six. The man they are coming here to see doesn't have human conscience. The man they are coming here to see is only interested in the money that will go into his pocket. The man they are coming here to see is only playing games and gamble with them. Whatever that happens to them, he doesn't care. Whatever that happens to them, he doesn't care. The height of insecurity right now in this country, especially in the Southeast, yeah, is even so alarming that the people who are the habitants of this region are getting scared day by day. Traditional rulers, political class leaders, ordinary citizens, and the people are being, are being, I'm trying to use another word, eh? 
I'm trying to use another word to, to qualify that so that Facebook will not... I'm sure you know. On a daily basis, they keep going. They keep going here. Yeah, go to the news and read about what happened in Onuimo, Imo State. I will help you. I will help you so that you will understand. A friend of mine who is from who is from from that particular place told me that he is not ever going to go back to that um, to Imo State again. That he's not going to own Imo, Imo State again until Glad is at Mbula. I'm not. I'm not surprised. Is it not women like you that uh, see a manipulate and plays like this? It is expected. Uh, it is expected. I'm not surprised. Some of you even come here with fake account. We know that game. Yeah. Now it says this 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 thing was uploaded uploaded 21 hours ago. It says gunmen killed seven village head in in Imo community. You can you can browse. Yes, gunmen killed seven village heads in Imo community. You see, the tragedy struck again in Imo State on Saturday evening when some government reportedly shot that the president general of Umucheke Okwe Autonomous Community in Onimo local government area of Imo State, Hygienus or Hazurike by name. Six village heads from the autonomous community were also allegedly killed by the government. An indigenous of the community who pleaded anonymity told Punch Online that the government who operated in a vehicle struck while the victims were having a meeting in the community. The source said some government have just shot dead the president general of Umushekukwe Autonomous Community and six village heads. The PG and the village heads were having a meeting at the PG's shop located at the community market when the attackers arrived. On arrival, the government opened fire, killed all the community leaders and set the place ablaze. All the community chiefs died in the attack. Visible apprehensive, the sources added that nobody knew the reasons. For the attack, he added, nobody knew the agenda of the meeting. They were having, they were having a meeting at the PG shop. The open fire killed all the village chiefs in attendance and burned the place before driving off. You can go and browse. You can go and browse where you are coming to have meeting. Even if you like, have it in Lagos. I will also refer you to an incident that happened in Ladipo Market one week ago. Go and browse. An incident that happened in Ladipo Market one week ago, I will refer you to that, where people who disguise themselves as military men came in to come and abduct somebody. Yes. Unluckily for them, the information has already leaked. The, 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 the army and police officers opened fire on them and gone down about eight to nine of them. Lagos is not even safe. Southeast is the worst. If your husband, your brother, your father, your breadwinner in the family is among the people who has been chosen to come to 
<laughs> Nigeria for that meeting. <laughs> Go and start burning your candle. Go and start burning your candle. Having said that, I heard people say, no, 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 no. Siawan doesn't even wash you. Siawan doesn't even listen to you. Okay. I told you people that this page is a small page. I agree. But it is going to do wonders. And you will be shocked. Because truth cannot be covered. Except if I am lying. But if I'm not lying, then definitely this small page with these small little followers he is going to confront that page of lies eh? of one point something million followers he is already running around what is this for those people who say that our voice are not being heard what is this i advise him to join the protest didn't i do so i advise him to join the protest and stop being a lazy youth and start, stop being unpatriotic. Now, let me show you something. What is this? What is this? Listen. Uh, I've joined the protest. After now, you say C1 does not join the protest. C1 does not fight for his country. I've joined the protest. So, who said C1 cannot join the protest? Who said C1 cannot fight for his country? Who said so if it's not unpopular opinion? Do you still think that we are joking here? If you still think that we are joking here, that you are a joker. You are a joker. With a play card running around his compound. Now, let me go to that comment to show you that Zambians are beginning to wake up. Fast forward to some few months back, you cannot see this kind of comment on the wall when Siawan makes a post because people are always afraid of him. To show you that people are beginning to wake up. Eh? To show you that people are beginning to wake up. Listen, Abel, somebody said, if you have power, can you stop the war in Ukraine and Russia? That was what Abel said. Then he's, he replied and said, what will I benefit from stopping the war? Eh? Then somebody asked him, uh, 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 Shobe, somebody asked him, what do you benefit? Eh? What do you benefit by talking about Zambia? Then, uh, Abel, somebody said, now I understand you only want benefit from poor Zambians in the name of helping them. Then, uh, 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 boy, somebody said, uh, Professor Wan, to save Nigeria, you dare not talk against Ukraine and Russia war. It's good you have seen no benefit from stopping the war, but you can, 100%. Then, Somebody uh, uh, told him also, listen, uh, go live, Patrick, somebody said, go live, castigate your president, we see. Uh, somebody, Amos, somebody said, when you have that kind of security with God, you protest with God. Somebody said, Jacob, somebody said, you are a mumu, papa. Then, somebody, Grant, Somebody said, those are issues you need to address with energy. Not Zambia, where God knows her church is in, is in good control. Then, somebody said, Messi, somebody said, better than finger-pointing our hard-working president as Zambians, we want peace. Then, Honorable Lassam, somebody said, be serious, young man. Please, you are in a terrible, uh, we are, uh, people are in, in, in serious terrible situation. Then Malama, somebody said, Tinubu soldiers will beat you if you talk about him. You even know that, 100%. Then uh, Mokina, somebody said, thank you for your new career of comedy. Then 
uh, Henry, somebody said, you need to be doing exercise, boss. See what you are breathing. Then, Isaac, somebody said, Siawan, fight them. If not, if not, Zambians will never consider your advice. Seriously. Fight Inubu, the old Jagaban, and end with Bale. You see? Then, AD, AD, somebody said, you have joined for sure, but this one is for Niger, but we we'll wait on Sunday for the continuity of the fight you started on Sunday about our double H. Then, gift, somebody said, sit down, Iwe. Then, uh, Kenneth said, uh, Kenneth said, I am happy that you listen when people speak. Uh, 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 why Mula said, go in the street. Then, David said, charity begins at home. Eh? Then, Sia, Sia, somebody said, this one is the best protest so far. Eh? Then, Puibisa said, Sia 100 has joined the protest too. Then, D said, uh, solve your problem first. Eh? Then, thank you for this guy, Matakala. Eh? Matakala said, so he was listening, Kanshi. So he was listening, Kanshi. Then, uh, 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 um, Mushere, uh, uh, said, go live today and talk to your country. Then, this one is a note. Juliet said, issues of your country, you are even laughing. But when it comes to Zambia issues, party, I don't understand what you say. Well, we know you want business in Zambia where people follow even the real Satan at the man of God, despite telling them hundred times that you are the Satan himself. Enjoy your protest. Then Elvis said, Elvis said, I thought you were a great, a, a, you were a strong man, but you are behaving cowardly and foolish. Then Bruce said, cause you are a coward. Fight for your people. Then an uh, elder said, Go live, talk about it. Why do you fear to talk about your country? But you want to talk about Zambia. You see? You see? Austin said, You should have been a comedian. You can act well. Yeah? Then look at, uh, let me read this last one. Uh, Mushemba said, I can see now that the message has reached you of challenging you to protest as a proof of your power, being a concerned citizen. But that's more like serious is here. One, sure, those people on protest, they have been killed. They are crying and they, and they anguishing, scattered on roads. But you, in your, in your yard, laughing at it, I have joined the protest. My word on the ground of humanitarian aid principle, keep quiet and accept the defeat. You will gain respect still for mocking people who are mourning. It's foolish. Have you seen? Go down, go down, go down. This one even said you can't fight for Nigeria because your soul is in Zambia. You see, look, go to that post, go to that comment, go to the comment of this post that I am reading. I have just read like straight close to 15 comments on a row and everybody is speaking in our language. So how can somebody there say that we are not doing a great job? Yeah. How can somebody say that we are not doing a great job? Yes. Who go down, go down, go down. Somebody even said, improve your actions, men of gold. Your action is very, very poor. That of hating of your own country. You see? Somebody even said, oh, this one is a Nigerian. Chijo Kugu said, are you making mockery of Nigeria or what? I don't understand this video. You see? People are here. Go live and fight for, for your country and go in the street, not in your house. Yeah? You see? You have to remove something from your eyes. That is when you can remove from your friend. So you should first solve that problem you have in your country. That is when you can start talking about other countries. Then I feel shame on you, my friend. This one is Hans. Yeah? Busy talking about our peaceful Zambia. Why your own nation is on fire. You see? Yeah? Oh, yeah. This time, next time you try to insult our president, Unyelile, I don't know what it means. You see? Yeah? Who is saying that we are not working 
Yeah? And you tell the idiots who believe in your lies to say, here in Zambia, we correct the mistake we made by putting HS as a president while you are busy mocking your fellow country. Me, who are being tear gas, this time you will be put in your place, Kylie. You think you own Zambia? Yes! You see, go to that post and read comment. If you think we are playing or that we are joking here, then you are the greatest joker. People are waking up. Before we came on board, you can barely see people commenting like this on C one's page. People are scared. People are scared of being turned to rats. People are scared of being turned to goat. People are scared of being turned to anything. Yes, but we came and we defeated that mindset of people thinking that there is anything that is going to happen. Today, when he talks to you, you should talk back. Yes. If he starts on your way, you should push him aside. That is what we have succeeded in doing. And uh, look, we are just testing the microphone. Note, nothing has even started. By the time we start, Will I the hell Don't worry. Very soon you are going to join us. Yeah. Very soon you are going to join us and you will understand exactly what we are doing. Then you will understand that whatever thing I am doing here, I am doing it for your own good. You will understand. People are beginning to wake up. These days, when Siawa posts something about Zambia, when I go down to the comment section, I laugh. I laugh. I laugh. I laugh. And I roll on the floor. <laughs> People are no more scared. People are no more scared. People as understand that number one, he made it clear that he is playing politics. Yes. Number two, we have understood now clearly by people that nothing spiritual around him. It is physical. The same way you combat your problem physically. And let me use this opportunity to talk to all these people who claim miracle money, miracle money, miracle money, miracle money. That is why some of you sit down jobless looking for money to, to fall on to, to, to fall from a tree. Yes, you are waiting for money, miracle money to fall down. You are forgetting that all those people who are saying, Papa, I've received, Papa, I've received, they are all RNG, paid hundred, hundred kwasha, one one fifty kwasha. The only miracle money is the one you are using to buy, do as I say, oil. The only miracle money is the one you are using to buy that holy water. The only miracle money that exists is the one you are using to pay tight. The only miracle money is that money you give to him that he's using to build a mansion for himself. The only miracle money is the one you are giving to him to use to fuel those cars and pay those police officers that he's, he's moving around with. Are you so daft that you can't understand what I am saying? Up to today, some of you still go and call Papa, especially your women. You people should put your women in. Put, put them in order. Eh? Put them in order. Some of them really need serious counseling. Some of them seriously need counseling so that they can come out from this bondage. They need to come out from this, from, from this, from this mental slavery. Yeah? How can someone who is living in the uh, shadow of himself here, he is scared. He is even failing to move around. Economy is biting so hard on him. How can that person come? Look at President Tirubu. Tirubu addressed the nation today. For the first time since he assumed power. How many times has President Hichirima addressed the nation? Especially when there is a heated national issue. How many times? Yeah?
My happiness is that you are still here. I know you are still listening. I am not telling you to believe anything. I am not telling you to believe me. Those people who know the truth, they have heard. And they are telling Sia one exactly what I am saying. Yes. I am not talking to you about Zambia. Many things I say here is about Nigeria. In case if you don't know. I am only telling Sia one. If you feel that you are the Jagaban, come to Nigeria here and face the real Jagaban. If you think you are the dawn of power, come to Nigeria here and face the real dawn of power. If you think you have Godfather, come to Nigeria and demonstrate and face the real Godfathers in human form. People who decide who goes into government house, people who decide who goes into Aso Villa, those are the real Godfathers and not that imaginary godfather you are calling somewhere. If you want me to mention the name of the godfathers you have in Imo State, I will mention the name of the godfathers you have in Imo State. If you like, go and bring Jesus Christ from heaven. If those people do not confirm that this person is going to be the governor of Imo State, he will go in and live like Honorable Meki Hedua. He was the choosing one the Imo State ever wanted. Barely three months, he was thrown out from the government house. And Sia one and the over one million others were washing. And they could not do anything. They were so helpless. In your, in your mind, in your mind, you think there is something this young boy, not even a young man, you think there is something this young boy can do. You think I am not old, older than him in age? Do you think that I am not older than him in age? You think there is anything he can do to help you in your own widest imagination? Yeah? Did you not hear people saying Tinubu must go? Tinubu must go. Tinubu must go. Yeah? Tinubu must go. Did you not hear people saying that? Why can't Godfather rise up and send snakes to that government, to that Aso, Aso Villa? Yeah? Why can't he send snakes or send the lion? Yeah? To go there and chase him out from the from the Aso Villa. He cannot do that. Why can't he stand on his platform and speak to uh, Senator Hope Zodema? Do you know that on a daily basis people are being killed in Imo State in the southeast here? Yes. Okay. One thing again I have to tell this uh uh uh, 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 uh on serious people, if you are coming to the southeast, make sure you don't come on Monday. Make sure you don't come on Monday because somebody who is telling you about Haka uh, in the Hichirima being a dictator, commanding police officers, doing this. Let me tell you something. Mazin and the Kano, eh? the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. has been in detention for the past almost four years. Yes. The court of competent jurisdiction has granted him bail countlessly and he has been held against court order. The fraction of those people from the southeast declared when they sit at home. It has been going on for the past two years. Every Monday, the people of southeast sit at home. They don't move. If you move, it is at your own risk. Yes. Are you getting me? If you are stepping your foot, your feet into Southeast, make sure you don't even make it on Monday. Yes. There are those guys moving around. If they find you on Monday, yeah. It is even now that people have begun to move around small. No petrol station opens except around them. Um, uh, 16 hours 
or maybe probably in Imo State because their governor is APC. That's why he has flooded everywhere with soldiers. And those people end up killing people on a daily basis. So there, you may see one or two petrol stations that are selling fuel, but you cannot see movement of people on like a regular day. So it is always risky because you may run into those guys at any point. If your container of maybe spare parts is coming into Southeast, that's, that's Monday, and they manage to intercept that goose, they will set it ablaze and it will burn down to zero. It is that bad. It is that bad. Some time back, somebody known as Odaluke, Odala FC, the owner of Odala Football Club, was ambushed with about five mobile policemen that he moves with. His three convoys he, the, the, the whole security details assigned to him was killed. Him also was killed and the vehicle he was moving with was all set ablaze with him inside that vehicle. Odala FC. May you so rest in peace. Some time back in a Catholic church in Ozoblo there, People we are having a, son, a normal Sunday service. Some government invaded that church that morning. It was very sad. It was very sad. More than 25 people. More than 25 people we are down that Monday. Go to your Gogo and browse about Ozobro massacre. Go there and browse about Ozoblo massacre. Then you will understand exactly what I am saying. Tell me why somebody who stays in a country like this, tell me what he is talking about Zambia. The people for Uka, you people are coming here. Are you coming here to come and see Sia One as a political activist, as the professor Professor uh, 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 Lumumba of Africa. Is that what you are coming here to do? What wonders do you think he can do for you that he has failed to do here? Yeah? If, the, if, if, if it is even to pay Sia one money, how much do you people have to give him? Yes. If it is to pay him money. It is in this country that people will give him how many millions of dollars he wants. Even people who are not in political class, there are people who have money here. They have more than enough money that they don't have anything to do with money. Gladys Hatimbula, why we saw he has girlfriends while he was in Zambia. Up to today, he is still sending money to those girlfriends. What if you are one of his girlfriends? What if you are one of his girlfriends? Are we going to stop you from loving him? Especially if he's still giving you money. Or if he's still uh, sneaking to Malawi or South Africa and you go by bus to come and see him. Are we going to stop you from loving him? Who says we can stop you from loving him? Yeah? Who says we can stop you from loving him, Gladys? Yeah? He has girlfriends, concubines, when, while he was in, 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 in Zambia or, or even South Africa. He has Zambian concubines. And girlfriends, what if you are one of them? Are we going to stop you from loving him? Yeah? Are we going to stop you from loving him? We cannot stop you from loving him. Yes. What if you even have a child for him? Because we even know about only this child that is, is here in Nigeria. What of others, other kids he has that are scattered in Zambia? What if you are a baby mama for Sia One? Are we going to force you? Stop you for loving your 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 your, your, your baby dad. Yeah? How are we going to stop you? He may be the father of your child. How are we going to stop you? We cannot stop you. So coming from a lady, yeah. Coming from a lady, I, I, I will not be surprised. Yeah? Imagine a lady saying you cannot stop me from loving Siawa. Yeah? 
Why can't you love him? Especially when he brings money from poor people and give you to go and buy wig. Yeah? And buy makeup. And buy Medicaid. And the, and the, and the, and the, what do you call it? Bleaching cream. So, why we, why, why, who says we are coming here to stop you from loving him? Do whatever thing you are doing with him before, be, behind. It's none of our business. It's none of our business. You keep writing, nobody can stop me from loving, loving Siawan. Nobody can stop me from loving Siawan. As if we are the one who follow you people to the bedroom. Or we, 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 we put touch right for you people when you are doing your Dununa reverse in the bedroom. Why are you coming here to come and tell us how you people ate uh, uh, dinner last night? Yeah? Why are you coming here to tell us you, you, you want to stop exposing your relationship online now? Yeah? What you have in the secret, you are coming now to come and expose it to the public. Have you seen how you have brought your leg outside now? Yeah? Have you seen how you have brought your leg outside? Yeah? You see... <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you go to his page you will find out that it is more of women that are that are always hurting him <laughs> eh? about um, if there are 100 papa right down about 70 or 75 are from women then the remaining 25 are from frustrated people <laughs> those people who sleep on the bottle of shibuku wake up with the bottle of shibuku they thought that siawan magic eh, can make mana to start falling from heaven for them to eat it doesn't work that way it doesn't work that way yes it doesn't work that way eh? you people can come here and waste money but i am telling you if Siawan can do anything to change any election or to influence any election anywhere, yeah, yeah, to influence any election anywhere, Nigerians can pay him times hundred compared to amount these uh, Oka people are coming to give him. Yes. We have people here who can pay him times hundred of any amount you people think you can come and give to him. But of course, he's irrelevant here. He's a nobody here. Nobody knows him here. Nobody regards him here. He's even he's even more worthless than this charger here. Because I don't use this thing for anything. This thing has been lying here. This thing has been lying here for the past how many moons? For that past how many months, this is the first time I'm even picking it up from this table. So, I don't know. Maybe this thing may be more useful than Siawan here in Nigeria. Here. Yes. He is one of the unknown people who are running their warehouse churches here and there, scattered all over the street of Nigeria here. Yes. Nobody knows him. He can't contribute anything in this country. Yeah? No, he, he can't even make you. I already have your attention. We know you want attention, but I have your attention here. Is it not you who has given me that attention? You came to this platform. That is the attention I have gotten. So, if I can get your attention and I can get your one attention to carry play card like a small boy and start running around this compound. If I can get the attention of that your so-called Messiah, Siawa, yeah, how do you think your own can count? Yeah, uh, Freddy, uh, he has given me already. Is it he or she? He has given me the attention already. If I can get the attention of his Messiah, who is Siawa, to carry play card and start running around the compound. I've, uh, they said I don't do, I don't want to do protests. I've protested. I've protested. If I can get his attention, that's your Messiah. Yeah. What makes you think I cannot get your attention? I'm more attention. Yeah. From other blind people. I'm asking you. Yeah. Come here and listen to the words of wisdom. You don't even have any choice. 
Do you have any choice? You don't have any choice. Yeah? You don't have any choice. They are only coming to see him because they thought he is the father of propaganda. Yeah? But they don't know that that medicine he has, I have exposed it. I have exposed his own weakness. I have exposed his own antics. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait until he starts coming out. I am going to show him eh, that I know more than he thinks he knows. Yes. It is a deep word. It is a deep word. Very deep indeed. Very deep that word. But you will understand as the days goes go, goes by. Hmm? He has tendered the apology. Yes. He has repeated the same apology he tendered in 2021. Now, there is a comment that somebody dropped here. Let me clear that comment to you. I want to clear that comment. Now, where is that comment? Because people keep repeating that comment. People keep repeating it. Uh, where is it? Uh, people keep repeating that idea of saying that uh, uh, mm, where is that comment? Where is that comment? Uh, also, he said, um, uh, okay, but the praise singers loved Siawan when he was supporting the UPND listing. He's a satanist who has disappointed them. So, now, in 2021, it was Zambians who needed a change of government. Let me repeat it again. It was Zambians who needed a change of government. Now, for any single person who lent a voice in that 2021, people are willing to listen. The difference is that in 2026, majority of people don't want change of government. You are trying to push them, force them, and tell them the reason why government must be changed in 2021. Did you see the, are you seeing the difference now between 2021 and 2026? In 2021, people were tired. People were tired. They have gotten it up here. So, everybody was speaking. Pilato was speaking. Even Chirufiatayali at some point turned against President uh, 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 Lungudan. Even so many people deep in PF, they even knew that they are going. There is no magic that happened in 2021. Even if I was to come on Facebook that 2021 and start talking about PF living, people will still join for as much as, as much as they can. Because that at that time was the talk of the moment. It was just like when Jonathan left in 2014. There is nothing Jonathan could have done even if the angels come down, they may not even have helped Jonathan. Because it's more like his time was up. Everybody acted like a hero that time. And that was because the time and the ground was set. I don't know if I am communicating to you now. People were tired in 2021. They needed a change of government. They, they have no option than to listen to anybody who cares to speak. Yes. So, and the more so, thank you, Mr. Eye Opener, especially if he was exposing the deals he had with PF. With PF. Has he ever said he had any deal with the UPND? If he has never been a part of the UPND, if he has never had any deal with the UPND, if he has never gone deeper or related with the UPND in any way, then... What is the business the UPND had with him? Did he say that UPND paid him in 2021 to work for them? He did not say that. Did he say that UPND approached him in 2021? The answer is no. Just like me now. Nobody approached me. UPND did not approach me. So why will I come tomorrow to come and start saying blah, 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 blah
So it was him against the people he was having dealing with. It is more like a case of a, a boyfriend and his ex-girlfriend. What is my business there? Eh? I, I, I just have to sit down and be watching as their drama unfold. If their drama unfold to my own advantage, I will enjoy. If it backfired, I will leave them to 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 to, to suffer their, their loss. Do you want me to repeat what I said? It's more like me, your girlfriend, your girlfriend, your ex-girlfriend. I also wanted your ex-girlfriend. Yes. Yeah, I wanted your ex-girlfriend. In fact, I wanted her even while both of you were dating. Now, you guys separated. You are, you are fighting now. She's now your ex-girlfriend. Are you telling me not to take advantage of the fact that you guys are fighting when I also wanted her? Eh? I will go and grab her. I will use that advantage of your fight. Is both of you who know exactly what you have done. I wasn't there when you people were moving from one hotel to another, from Livingstone to Dollar, from one chalet to another, from City Market to, 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 to Kamwala to go and buy Salawala. Was I there? Was I there when you people were jumping from bed to the floor, from floor to the sofa in the city room, from city room batting together? Was I there? I wasn't there. All those things shouldn't be my business. If you people decide to expose it, and they and they fight yourself in public i will take advantage of that and grab that girl because i also wanted to have a taste of what you have eaten i also want i need her what if i can even keep her more than you yeah what if i can keep her more than you yeah you don't want me to take her that was exactly what happened in 2021 now let him come down and tell people if he has done any single deal with the UPND. That is where he will lose out. And the, there is really no ground where you can stand to pressure Zambians into demanding for a change of government. There is no. If there will be a change of government in 2026, we are supposed to know by now. You are supposed to know by now. Okay, let us assume that there will be a change of government in 2026. Tell me one single person. You can even say, okay, let us give it to him. Tell me one single person now. There is nobody. Zambia doesn't have any opposition. Zambia has a kind of opposition that we sit down and talk about how President Hakain they sit down, how President Hakain they walks, how President Hakain they talks. What does it have to do with the economy of Zambia? These are the kind of jokers you have. These are the kind of jokers you have. Opposition parties who will sit down and talk about a successful business like car, like keeping cattle. They will even use it as if they are trying to mock a billionaire in the person of Akai in the Hishirima. You fail to understand that that cattle business is doing can feed your entire generation. Yeah. Yes, he had no written agreement. In fact, he wasn't even in any agreement at all with the UPND. So that makes UPND exceptional and outstanding. Yes, otherwise, if he had a deal with them, he would have started voicing them out by now. The way you know, see one. Yeah. Even though all the things he said he had with the PF. About 50% are all lies. 50% are true. Part of the lies are the issue of giving rings. No ring was given to anybody. No do as I say was done for anybody. Yes, he was just one of the crooks who had the opportunity and privilege to also eat in PF government. Yes. He, he was just one of those crooks, one of those thieves. One of, he, in fact, he was just one of those cliques of thieves in PF. Nothing more. But the issue of ring, do as I say, whatever thing, it never happened. It was lies. 
it was a little truth of about 30% with a blown off lies of 70%. Now, in the case of UPND, he want to bring a blown up lie of 100%. How can it work? When you don't even have a 10% truth, you can stand on before you can start blowing the lies. Have you seen why he was sounding like a broken record in his last, last broadcast? Yes, I am waiting for him to show people his shot eh, with the President Hakai De Ishima. Let me decode him in every angle. I will tell him that what he knows, I know. What he knows, I know. So, henceforth, it will be difficult for him to lie. I'm saying it clearly here. It will be difficult for him to lie. It will be difficult for him to play any game. Because I will be on him like this. Like this. Until the day he will decide to go arrest. Let him come out. Let us advocate for the betterment and good governance in Nigeria. We need good governance here. Things are going out of hand here. People are demonstrating. They are not. People are protesting. They are not just joking. Yes. I will post a video. Yes, tomorrow. That video that I'm going to post in the morning will show you how bad. No matter how you think you are having difficulties there, you have you cannot degenerate to the level. Eh? He cannot come live today. What is he coming live today to come and say? Fred Musiwa, tell me exactly what is coming here to, to come and say. <laughs> what is he coming here to come and say? Even the next time he's going to come live, it will take him for how long to, to prepare? Yeah? To prepare? Yeah? Yes! It is difficult now. I can feel his pain. Yes. I can feel his pain. Yeah? You can only develop a lie when you have you can only develop a lie when you have at least 20% or 10% of, of truth that you will say. People will say, okay, this is true. Then you can start lying. What if you don't have even any 1% of truth? And the UPND, we are, we are really uh, 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 smart. They were really smart not to have done anything with him. Yes. Of course, I know President Hishinima can never allow such. Yes. Because he doesn't tolerate idleness. He doesn't tolerate idleness. Those are kind of people that Africa needs now. And not on serious people. Not people who have never touched one million kwacha before they entered government. Coming out with about billions of kwachas. Just barely how many, how many years in government. Yes. Yeah. And that is why Siawan has to start talking about people who are in, 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 in UPND. Most people who are in UPND are people when you look at their profile. You see that these guys are made already before they even join politics. They are made men. If you are expecting them to degenerate to the level of all those charlatans that PF picked on the street and in the motor parks to bring into into Wazi house, then you are joking. Yeah? You are joking. Yeah? You see? You are joking. Yeah? So, henceforth, it will be difficult to develop on any lies. So, this Uka, if you like, take the remaining money you should be using to go to court. Remember, there are a lot of court cases there are a lot of cases to appeal. Remember, there is also a need to run away like Shufiatayari if there is need. All those things, I want you to put it into considerations. Yeah? I want you to put it into considerations. If you like, pack the remaining money you need to keep as a reserve. Yes. Come and give it to one Eberima. Do you know what Eberima means? In Nigeria, a perima is only a sheep, a crook. Pack it and come and give to him. It is you who will cry. Pack it, the money you are you are supposed to use to guard yourself, because obviously 
it's very clear that some of you may be in prison during 2026 election don't know most of you it is clear that your destination the the rate you are working you are heading straight to Shimbokairo prison yard you know already yeah you know already so take the money you are supposed to keep as a reserve and go and keep it give it to somebody somewhere to to, to keep buying lessons cheap it is you who will cry you are going to waste that money take that money go to city market and share it to people go to kamwala and share it to the to the people either ways you have just given them the money you took from them yes either ways what you are giving them is the money you took from them that is the money you are giving them back in disguise so as you prepare to come to this country to come and waste that money i have told you people how you can prepare because there are a lot of things that lies ahead here yes there are a lot of things at stake if you are coming here yeah and uh, you will not say that you have not been told i am happy that you will not say that you have not been told as for cr1 forget about it that money you are throwing it into the dustbin he can no more perform yes he can no more perform patrick Iluaya, thank you very much thank you very much he can no more perform he was speaking i can see his shadow last time that he was speaking how many times did he did he give you people this laugh <laughs> The only time he tried to put up that laugh, his mouth was failing to open. The only time he was... <laughs> this, uh, this is not those days where he will be drinking coke. Ah, fucking finished! You finished! Those days has passed. <laughs> those days are passed. He can even fail to drink water now. Why giving a live broadcast? Yeah. There is fire on the mountain. Yeah. The jungle is matured now. Yeah. It is matured now. It is not those days where he formed Gaddafi. He might still be enjoying, after all, yeah, just like the video I just played here, where he was uh, running around this compound like a small baby. You know, running around like a small baby on a napkin. Yeah? Have you seen? 17,000 plus people watched that video as of today. Almost 70% of the comments were against him. So, bragging now about 13,000 people watching him. There are people who are going there to go and di redirect him back to the federal capital of uh, 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 federal, uh, what do you call it? Federal Republic of Nigeria. There are people who are going there to give in direction. There are people who are going to there to just sit and watch. In their mind, they already know the decision they have made. So when you see those numbers, I have already told you, each time you want to get carried away with Sia One, 13,000 people watching him, always remember that Shufia Tayari has 300 and something thousand to 400,000 followers. And he still failed to run a political party in Zambia. He still failed to have even a councillor, to win even a councillor. When he ran for MP, he lost. Yes, he lost. How many uh, uh, um, uh, uh, followers did uh, do uh, uh, Shontembo have? have? Those are just numbers of people who come to laugh. In those numbers, there are people who are there to laugh. There are people who are there to just waste time. There is no football match going on. There is no current wrestling going on. There is no current movie they want to watch. They are Netflix. They are tired of watching. They just come there to entertain themselves. There are only few people who may be serious, thinking that something may happen. Are you getting me? So, 
the numbers of 2021 is completely different from the numbers of 2024 up to 2026. Yes, the reason is because there is no, there is going to be no change of government in Zambia. Yes, there is only going to be change of government in Nigeria. If only he can come and join us. There is only going to be a change of government in Nigeria. Because Nigeria truly needs a change of government. But Zambia doesn't need that. And people know who will be demanding for the change of government. The over 40,000 people. We are still coming. I am still coming. Yes. There will be a time where I will show him. He keeps saying, PF did this, PF did that. I am coming. You think I don't have data? I've seen people say, no. See, one has data more than you. Which data does it have? That one knows how to lie. But those lies, this is the expiring date of that lie. I am going to confront those lies with fact. It is going to be fact over fictions. It is going to be fact over fictions. I will show him the fact to, sh to tell him that PF played all through the seven years they were empowered. Yes, I will show them the, the fact. Yes, since some people who are Zambians, who live in Zambians, they don't have the data of what UPND government has done, I am going to help you people. I have them well documented, not given to me by anybody. Not given to me by anybody. To even show you that I have the fact not given to me by anybody. You will see where how I screenshotted all of them. You will see on different platforms where I took a screenshot of all almost at least 80% of the project undertook by this government. Little do anybody know that I've been doing that. I've been doing that patiently, knowing that Siawang will come out again. I knew that since the deal failed to move between him and the UPND, that he was going to come up with the antics. Now, since the since President Hakainde Hishirima, remember that since President Hakainde Hishirima is a dream president that Africa truly wanted, it will be unfair. It will be unfair if I allow him to go and waste the energy he's supposed to be giving us here. We need that energy. If he feels he has so much energy to talk, we need it here. Just like what I have been saying. I have been also protesting in this guy's here. Me pointing out to you various security challenges we are having here. People are hearing me. The world at large are hearing me. It is part of the way of me expressing what we are passing through here. I have told you people the economic challenges we are meeting here. I have told you people a lot of things. It is me talking about my country and not your country. Yes. It is me. Talk Andy. I am speaking English. I am not speaking my local language. So, Americans can hear me. People from Asia can hear me. People from anywhere part of Africa can hear me. And they will read. Yes. Yes. So, if you are thinking, if there, of course, you people know the political tool in Zambia. When it changed from MMD to PF, Zambians knew that the time is now. If I am lying, let someone correct me. When MMD lost election, even MMD themselves knew that they were going to lose election that year. Zambians were not in doubt that the MMD was going to lose the election that year. PF knew that they were going to win that election that year. That one aside. When PF lost election, people knew that it is time up for PF. If you are thinking that it was Siawan, you are a joker. I will ask you, where was Siawan when MMD lost election. Where was year one when MMD lost election to PF? 
Zambians has a way of seeing that wind of change in the air when it is coming. It is not blowing anywhere. It is not. In fact, I challenge any fake prophet to come and give prophecy now. Come and give prophecy. Where are they? Where are those people who keep saying, no, the God has shown me there will be change of government. I challenge you to come and give prophecy now. You will be disgraced in 2026. I'm not a prophet, but I am telling you. Where is that prophet? Where are you? Come and give that prophecy. Come and give that prophecy. If not that some of these fake prophets, they don't even have shame anymore. They have sold their shame and they have bought, bought uh, Shibuku. Some of them have sold their shame and their integrity and they bought Shibuku, they, they bought Tijirijiri in exchange. Otherwise, how can people like Isaac Amata, the likes of what is their name? How can they still be parading themselves as prophet after the failed prophecy they gave? Eh? The Bible made it clear. Do not say that the Lord has said even when the Lord has not said anything. Yes. Do not add. Do not remove. As you are adding something is being added, added to your life. As you are removing, something is being removed from your life. Do this prophet know this version of the this verse of the Bible? How do can they lack shame? Eh? They can be so shameless that even Isaac and Martha had the God to come back again. So the first one you heard them was a missed call. It was a missed call. Maybe it was uh, Shifiatayar is whispering to you, and you mistook it to be voice of God speaking. I am asking on behalf of the Zambians. If they have shame, after repeatedly failing in their prophecy, why would they keep trying luck? It is trial luck. Do you know why most of them prophesy that Lungu was going to win that election? It was a, 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 a miscalculated political thinking. Thinking that in Africa, it is difficult for a ruling party to lose election. It is very simple. Knowing how brutal PF was, they thought PF was not going to give up. They thought PF was going to manipulate the election. They thought, in fact, knowing that in Africa it is nearly impossible, it, ha it is something that happened once in a season for a ruling party to lose election in Africa. So based on that, most of them started giving prophecy, blah, 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 blah. Uh, PF was going to win. Well, it was simply a mere political calculation based on the happenings in Africa here. So, I am still shocked if I am if Africa is operating with integrity. Yeah? Some of those prophets, they are supposed to have gone to city market and start selling food. Or start selling Salawola. Yes. How can they even be, be, be still moving around, still parading themselves as pastors after that public show of shame? Zambians knew, always know, when there is a wind of change, it is not anywhere around. Yes, people are adjusting. People are adjusting. The whole world is crying of economic hardship. If UK can be crying, who are you, Zambia? Zambians? I am asking you. If America can be complaining, who are you? Yes. Who are you? If Americans can be complaining. Have you seen? There is a global economic challenge. Now, why some African countries are suffering it more is because our leaders finished everything we have in our foreign reserve. That is why exchange rate is skyrocketing. In fact, Hakai de Hichirima is even playing magic that some African leaders are failing to play. He is performing magic. Wherever 
he finds the power and the inspiration to be performing such magic, he is the real don of power. He is the real Jagaban. I am telling you. He knows the real Godfather. Yes. They finished everything we have in our foreign reserve. That is why dollar is almost very difficult to control. You don't have anything in your foreign reserve. You borrowed ahead of 50 years. Yes. Which one does? Are you expecting? Rather than the one that he, President Ishirima is doing. Trying to save you a bit from paying school fees so that the body can move away a bit from you. Recruiting thousands of workers so that when they pay, get money, money will move back into the community so that more families will be relieved from economic hardship. Increasing CDF so that money will go into the provinces. Yeah. He has taken... A, look, let me tell you. Let me tell you. For IMF to release money to Zambians, it means that your president has done exceedingly well. He has shown prudence in handling money. For IMF, you think International Monetary Fund is just anybody you can go and manipulate anyhow. For IMF to release money, for IMF to agree to come to the table to restructure the to help to restructure the debt of Zambia, Hakainde Hichirima has shown prudent in spending money. Yes, he has shown intelligence. If you are waiting for people to be given money that they don't work for, UPND has made it very clear that they cannot perform like that. Since you have known that they cannot perform like that, why do you still want them? Eh? 125,000 jobs created for youth. You see, I keep seeing job advert, recruitment everywhere. What else? That 125,000 jobs translate into indirectly more than 500,000 people benefiting indirectly. If I am one of that 125,000 people, I can now pay my sisters or my siblings' school fees. I can now pay my kids' school fees. I can now provide for my mother. I can now provide for my in-laws. I can now provide for my girlfriend. I can now provide for... You see? Eh? I can also give a little to the woman who is selling beer in Kabwata. I can give to Joe Mbuzi. I can put offering in the offering box of Siawan. Sia one will benefit. Everyone will benefit. Yes. You see. You see. You somebody is pushing you into if you lose President Hakai as a president, Zambia economy will be grounded like this. I am telling you, Zambia economy will be grounded like this. That man is the P2B. Eh? We are waiting and wishing to have in this country. We also know that when Peter B takes over power, we know that things will go like this a bit more. Because those guys are not people who we want to compromise. Those guys are people, are things, are people who knows exactly what to do with money. They know what you need and not what you want. They go direct to what you, you need and not spend the money on what you want. It is trying to satisfy your numerous want. That is why people go into borrowing. Yes, it is trying to satisfy everything you want who, even when you know that human want, human needs is insatiable. Why can't you do order of preference? Yeah? Order of importance. Do the ones you can. Leave the ones you cannot. When you have, you can do them. Why going to borrow even when you know you don't have any means to pay? That is exactly what grounded most of African countries' economy. Kenya borrowed until they almost want to use people for collateral. Zambians, I don't know. Maybe 
uh, President uh, Lungu used a lot of people in Zambia for collateral. And some of you are busy bragging. Uh, PF legacy, PF legacy, PF legacy. I said it in my last broadcast. Very soon, I will take Kenneth Kaunda International Airport and serve it on a plate to Sylvia Tayari to eat that airport. Let him eat. Let him eat that airport. You will eat all those roads that was made in Lusaka. That doesn't lead to anywhere. You will eat those roads. Those bridges that... Uh, uh, okay, there, there is a bridge that was built in... What is it? Somebody should remind me this bridge that goes into mass media. In front of United Nations, is it United Nations? It goes into uh, mass media. What is the name of that bridge? Where there is a new mall like this. That bridge that goes from... Um, somebody should remind me. If you go through long acres and you are going into mass media, that bridge, the flyover bridge there, if you take your left like this, you go into JC, is it JCS or what? No, it's not Manda Hill. It's not Manda Hill. You see? You see, Mr. Eye Opener. Not that, not, not that one in long acres. Not that one you in long acres. Yes. If you are coming from Intercontinental Hotel, going to Long Acres, you pass under that bridge in Long Acres, you get to that robot. If you go straight, you are going to uh, 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 ECZ. Electoral Commission uh, and that uh, uh, that military base or what? Then you take your left, going to mass media, as if you are going to ZMBC. Is it United Nations office that is there by the left? You pass it, you get to that bridge, you take your left, you are going into JCS. Is it JCS? If I'm not mistaken, then that flyover bridge. That goes like you are going. When you come down, you find that roundabout. You proceed going to uh, 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 um, uh, uh, ZMBC. It's not even about that uh, flyover bridge being a death trap. I am asking you, Prince Pashaba, what is that flyover bridge doing there? It is a simple question. What is that flyover bridge doing there? Go to that flyover bridge and ask yourself, what is that flyover bridge doing there? Is it even supposed to be there? If not that some people just want to steal money with any single project they can lay their hands on, what remains is them constructing a bridge inside Shufiatayali's house or across his house so that they can have a, a project to steal money. Yes, it is Ali Kinkata Road, just after United Nations. Tell me what that flyover bridge is doing there, for God's sake. Yeah? Yes, near football house, before football house. What is that bridge doing there? A road that just went straight like this. What is that flyover bridge doing there? Just for people to climb up and go down. Tell me. Go there and study that flyover bridge. That is a pure waste of money. That bridge is not doing anything there. It is just... That road is just, you go straight like this. If anything, that roundabout there is what is even needed there. Yes. That roundabout is what is needed there. It is not even necessary there. Because there is only a road by the left. So people who are coming like this, they can easily just stand by the left. People who are coming like this, they can put their indicators. When they, when they find the space, they cross that road again, going. That flyover bridge is not doing anything there. It was used to siphon money. Yeah? Just for people to come and climb bridge and go down. Even if you follow by the corner, people who are coming like this, if you follow by the corner like this, passing by the side, you are still going to come out the same place. This is how, this was how PF ended up stealing your money.
all in the name of trying to pray, build a flyover bridge everywhere. You build a flyover bridge where that is necessary. You build a flyover bridge where necessary. For example, the one near uh, 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 Levy Mall. You could see that the train passes under. It is multi-purpose. Cars goes on top. Train passes under. Under the same one, the same thing with the one in city market. Yes, the same thing with the one near Zedaru A. Yes, a poor country like Zambia that needs money to sustain a very critical part. What are you? No, go to uh, 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 um, consult a bridge ac uh, across uh, 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 Akade. There is even one there. At least that one is okay. That one is okay. People who are passing, going to uh, a garden, they can go like this. Those who are going into uh, arcade, that side, they going to mass media, they can also pass like this. Then those who are crossing to Onza, they can go on top. Those who are coming from Onza side, going into town, they can go on top. That place is a good place. Yeah? But that one in Arik in Kata Road, what is that flyover bridge doing there? Do you want me to show you more wasted bridges in Zambia where money was wasted for nothing? Money was wasted. And see, one is coming to tell you people, ah, la, 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 UPND is still in more than... Wait until the day I will, I will come to life for like two hours. I will be reading to you UPND projects scattered all over Zambia. Nobody gave it to me. When I call out anyone, I will show you a platform and you will see the date when I took a, I took that screenshot. I started taking a screenshot from last year. From last year. I was enjoying it. I was enjoying seeing those projects scattered all over. No, Matakala Muyoba, they said Siawan knows places more than me. That Siawan is more grounded more than me. Are they not seeing now that Siawan is not even as grounded as I am? Hmm? You know Lusaka for sure. Yeah. It is Godfather who has shown me Lusaka. When I close my eyes, the real Godfather will be showing me the road in Lusaka. The real Godfather will be showing me the roads in Lusaka. It is the doing of the Godfather. Yeah. It is the doing of the Godfather. The day, if, if Zambia ever make a mistake eh, of President Hichirima leaving the house, you will cry. You will cry. It is more like, they, they say that the hunger that has hope doesn't kill. At least you know that you are hungry. And there is hope that tomorrow you will eat food. What of when it gets to the point where you are hungry and there is no hope of even finding any food to eat. Zambia was in a state of hopelessness in, before 2021. So nobody should claim the soul glory of redeeming Zambia in 2021. Many people, Pilato, Shilatukuta, so many people played a, a role. So many people lent their voices. So many people stood up against the brutality. That was when it was unfashionable for the opposition to speak. It is not now. Now everybody is speaking. Yes, who is not talking now? Tell me who is not talking now. Yeah, even Chirufi Atayari who has run away. What is even chasing him? What is chasing him? Eh? What is chasing him? That's why I was upset. Eh? When she had to put her, started sounding somehow. Knowing where Zambia was coming from, the last thing you people should do is to give UPND, to, is to give uh, 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 PF any chance again 
to smell power in Zambia. Yeah? If UPN, if, Zam, if PF has won in 2021, there will not be Zambia today. Yes. There will not be Zambia today. Yeah? Yeah? There will not be Zambia today if, you, if, if PF has won that election in 2021. It would have been disaster today. It would have been disaster. So if you complain of hunger, just know that tomorrow is going to be better. It is better than being in a state of hopelessness. Yes. It is better for someone who wants to make do with what is available. Look at Burundi gave money to Zambia and some people are saying, is it not this pride and arrogance that brought Zambia to where they are today? Yeah? Who says if Burundi have more money, they can give to Zambia? If Ghana has more money, they can give to Nigeria. Yes, they can give to Nigeria. It is this pride and arrogance that is crippling Africa today. You don't have, but you want to claim that you have. Yes, you don't have, but you want to claim that you have. People who are not even equal to sitting with Boma and Luzambo, then when he was in power, are, are, are lending him money today. He is going to them to borrow money from them today. But those are people who are not even in the same class. To, to, to discuss with him then. But he is borrowing money from them today. They are lending him money. That is life. It doesn't matter if you are like this. Somebody, people who have can give to you. And when they give to you, be humble enough to collect. What you need is that money to make use of whatever thing you want to do. Yes, if Luzambo can donate $1,000 to Trump, who is Luzambo to Trump? Yeah? Do you know who Trump is? Do you know who, who, who President Trump is? Yeah? Do you know who President Trump is? So, Luzambo that is donating money to him, is donating money to him as what? As who? On what capacity? If he can donate money to Trump, why can't uh, Burundi give money to Zambia if they have enough? You should come out from that PF arrogance. You should come out from that arrogance of PF. It doesn't exist anymore. President Hichirima, all he did was to, to make Zambia look like they, they, they actually don't have so that people can show mercy to Zambians. Even your creditors, we see that ah, of true of a true, these people, they are really in a tight corner. And they can show mercy to you. You want to keep living in affluence. You want to keep swimming in, in plenty, even when you are owing a lot of people. Eh? Even when you are swimming in debt, you want to start keep enjoying. You want to keep eating a food chicken with one hand, sipping you got. Uh, 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 oh, somebody should remind me the name of this uh, 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 Zam beef you got Zam what? Zam sip or what? Is this Zam sip? Want to keep eating chicken with one, one hand Zam sip That you will be taking in Shima with your mouth eh? It doesn't have, work that way You have to adjust to yourself To what is available While trying to grow what is available So that tomorrow it will be surplus for you to enjoy. Yeah? Yes. That little you grow today. Why so living in sustenance of what is available? You may be eating a full cow yesterday. But the fact is today, eating that full cow is no more sustainable. Just like fuel subsidy. A lot of countries in Africa, including Nigeria, has removed fuel subsidy. The only challenge we have in Nigeria here is why should we even be talking about subsidy in the first place? If our refinery is working, 
and we have crude oil here. Why should we be talking about subsidy? Yeah? We only talk about subsidy when they extract the crude oil here, they export it to the foreign land to go and they, uh, 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 um, uh, what, what do, they, do, do they call it? Refine it. Then they bring it back here again to come and sell the finished product. What if our Portacot refinery is working? What if our refinery in Bayelsa is working? We can mine our crude oil, refine it here, sell here, and export the, 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 the surplus we have. We, we extract the crude oil, we refine the one that is enough for our consumption here, we export the surplus of that crude oil. If not that African leaders are not serious. They are not serious. You can never find anyone as serious as President Akai de Ishirima who can stay in office for how long without going for a vacation. Even when he wants to go to vacation, he goes to the village to go and look after his cow. You don't know what you have. You don't know what you have until you lose it. The day you will lose it, you will cry. You will wish for him to come back. But he may not come. The day you will lose him, you will wish for him to come back. He will not come. Yeah? Stop crying about the price of fuel. And stop comparing the price of fuel during PF to that of UPND. UPND removed fuel subsidy. The same thing we did here in Nigeria. The government here keep borrowing money to be paying for subsidy. Putting you in debt that you are going to pay. Which one is better? For you to bear the cost now, why the economy normalize, then everything will go back to shape. Or for the country to keep borrowing and putting you in abject eternal poverty. Which one is better? It is not sustainable anymore. Instead of you to be borrowing money to be buying chicken, why can't you just use the little money you have to go and buy, uh, 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 what do you call it? Go to the, this, even if it is a trace drumstick, you buy. Go and buy in kilos. Instead of buying food chicken that you can, you go and borrow money. For how long are you going to keep borrowing money to be eating food chicken? When with the little you have, you can go and buy meat. Yeah? I am asking you. It is a simple logic. It, a, a, it is a plain economist at play. Feel the pain now and enjoy later. No country in Africa now can sustain that subsidy. The only way you can compare fuel prices during PF and the UPND is if you can compare fuel prices during MMD with PF. If you can compare the price of dollar during MMD to that of PF, that is the only way you are going to compare that to UPND, especially after PF has messed up the economy of Zambia. And, and the Siawan is coming. He's coming to come and teach you people what exactly. What exactly? Yeah? Kamboribawa said a lot here. Fear Siawan that he's a true man of God. Don't you fear, fear yourself? Do you fear men of God? Do you fear a real man of God? I am asking you. You respect men of God, you don't fear them. Real men of God, you respect them, you don't fear them. The only reason why people were fearing him before, not now, was because he presented himself in the other, uh, something witchcraft, that he has some spiritual forces and power that is beyond anybody Godfather, when Godfather says something, it is final. That is the only thing he used to put fear into people. That particular thing is no more. Yes, we have end, finally succeeded in dissolving that lies. That lies does not stand anymore. It is his Yawan Andu Ejimado. That is his name. 
Now, Muyoba, you are, you are, you are speaking now. If Hakai Nishirima got power from MMD, eh? Zambia could have been heaven today. In fact, even if he got power from Sata, yes, even if he got power from Sata, Zambia could have been a better place. I followed it when he was busy advising at Galungu when they were going to Swaziland to go, to go and dance and carry women that has left their upper chamber open. When they were going to a clubbing in the private jet, when they thought that the old jet is no more fashionable for them to club and cruise, they bought another one. They bought another one. They were enjoying flying to America with 50 people to go and enjoy in a club. Sleep in expensive hotels. Carrying women all around. Flying women from Ethiopia. Fly in women from different different parts of the countries to come and enjoy. Yeah? Turning state house into a clubhouse. Yeah? Partying in Intercontinental Hotel, the eighth floor. When they were doing all those things, they didn't know that the money would finish. That was how the money was finished. That was how the money got finished completely. Now they are expecting their colleagues to come and do wonders. Which wonders are you expecting them to come and do? Which wonders? Eh? Which wonders? Eh? Is it not you people that I should even blame? A man that clearly told you people that he doesn't have any vision. You people insisted that you are going to give him vision. Yeah. What do you want him to do? You want him, you want him to do what? Yeah. What do you want him to do? So all you loyal loyalists for 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 Sia One, go and tell him that the game is over. Like I am comfortably telling him that the game is over. No, such games will not be played anymore. It will be difficult now. Mm -hmm. It will be difficult now to play any game at this time. Not when unpopular opinion is still on seat. It will be too difficult for any game to be played. Very, very difficult. It's time to face reality. We need him here. If there is anywhere to play a game, it is here. I know what I'm talking about. Yes, it is here that we need him to come and play a game. I'm not there. Things are moving there. Zambia is gradually moving to the from from consumption to production level. Yes, Zambia is gradually moving from consumption economy to production economy, and that is what your president has been working on all this while. Give Zambia two three years. In fact, wait even till 2026. Why are you bringing in? Why are you making it look like this is this is a, 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 a election season? When the election season is, is still very far, yeah? Why are you trying to make it as if you are in the in the election mood? When election is still very far, the only election that is around the corner is that of to to fill in the vacancies the vacancy for people who has gone to prison for committing a crime. Eh? People who has gone to prison for committing a serious crime. Instead of you to be campaigning for that one, you are busy talking about an election that is still coming almost three years from now. Eh? Are you sure if you are going to finish serving your sentence by that time? I mean, I'm just unkindly asking. Yeah? If you are going to finish serving your sentence by that time, over 70 vehicles as a birthday present. Don't forget, if you are sleeping this night, let this be ringing bell in your ear. If you want to close your mouth, here, that is all long. 70 vehicles over how many uh, million and kwacha? Hey, and the 
thousands as birthday present. No, Ali Kodangote. Ali Kodangote, Trump, the owner of Trump Tower. Yeah, Elon Musk. Yeah? Bill Gates. Yet you forgot that it was just a common uh, 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 lawyer in Lusaka. Yeah? He was just a lawyer. Yeah? And somebody who has worked in cabinet. Even Dangote. Has he given his his son 50, 10 vehicles as a as a as a as a as a birthday present all the time he has been answering Dangote? And you find people coming to defend not to defend the indefensible. That was how uh, 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 over how many million was given to somebody. Eh? And the police was used to intimidate her. The report went to the police. Some of you took your clothes to go to somebody's gate. Even when you have never seen, in fact, in your entire family, nobody has that kind of money that was stolen from you. I don't know when Africa is going to wake up. I don't know when Africa is going to wake up. You are defending a man who gave over 70 vehicles to his son as a birthday present. When your father has never given you even Shibuku. Your father has not even gotten a, a bottle of Coca-Cola for you on your birthday. Yet, you are defending a man who has money to give to give the son close to 70 vehicles as a birthday present. It never happened. They are just lying to cover up a lot of money. Yes. ACC should try and recover as much as they can recover. Recover as much as they can recover. I appreciate the fact that uh, President Lungu, ha President uh, uh, Hichirima has extended an olive branch to, to Lungu, but he keeps running his mouth like a tap, thinking that when he's arrested, he's going to drag sympathy, <laughs> like what happened to President Akaide Hichirima when he was arrested. Ignore him. It is now me telling you, ignore him. Go after other cliques. Get them. Remove all the oil in their pocket. Put them inside the prison. But have you seen Edgar Chagwalungu? Leave him. Don't arrest him. But remove every single thing that he took from Zambians. That is what you need. You don't need to arrest such person. Leave him. For as long as you keep talking, church, allow him. Just Get back as many things as you can give. Leave him. Let him go back to practicing law. Let him go back to practicing practicing law. Don't even arrest him. Leave him. Even if he lies, let him, let him come to steam market and dance. Even if he lies, let him go to emergency shopping at the Ibex. If he lies, let him suddenly come to city market himself to come and buy Sarawola. Provide security for him. Allow him to move freely. That is the highest campaign you can even do. People knew that it was difficult to operate in that way before 2021. You are still campaigning indirectly. He is actually campaigning for you people. When people are saying that uh, President Hishima is a dictator, but they are seeing an opposition leader who has failed to allow him to enjoy as much freedom as he's enjoying now, it is campaign number one. So, if you want to go to city market to go and sit in a cantemba to have a haircut, allow him and provide enough security for him. Give, provide even these riders for him. He is tired of enjoyment as a president. He still admires that protocols. He still admires such security details. He still admires moving in convoys and people sharing him up. He is not yet tired. Allow him to enjoy that even as an opposition leader. Somebody could have just gone to go and rest and become an elder statesman. People can come to him and consult. But because of bitterness, you still want to come and revenge. What are you revenging? The man you are coming to revenge, has he even revenge? He has not even shown you any atom of revenge. He hasn't even done anything, but you have started crying every day. You are crying every day. 
she the one left the people who are crying. I start talking about Sylvia Masebo. Yeah? But you are seeing people crying every day. Yeah? You are seeing people crying every day. Yeah? Protect your president and protect your country. Do not allow any intruder from anywhere to come and tell you what to do in your country. There is no wind of change anywhere. And Zambia is on the right track. I can tell you, Zambia is on the right track. President Hichirima is a champion. And Zambia indeed has joined the Champions League. Do not allow anybody to come and mislead you. Do not allow anybody to come and mislead you. They hated him so much while he was in opposition. They still hated him so much. It breaks their heart to see him driving as a Goan. It breaks their heart to see people of Zambia sharing him up. It breaks their heart to see him riding on that car with the, that ego on the number plate. They never knew that it would ever come. There, there, there will ever be a day President Hishima will be moving with police escort instead of being chased by the police. They never knew. Even if that man served only one time, that man has broken record. One time alone is enough. But he's going to serve two times. Even if there is need, he's going to serve three times. Yes. It will hurt them and it bites them every day. Knowing that the president of Zambia today is President Echirima. So this guy, persistence in the, indeed. Yeah? Yeah? Persistence breaks resistance. I mean, yes, of course, persistence breaks resistance. In him, I know that. It is still the reality some of them are still failing to come up with. Even Lungu. Lungu is asking himself, am I in a dream? And this thing happened. In fact, he is regretting giving up that power. Just like that. He wished. Imagine seeing him flying around, sitting with the head of state, the African praising him, uh, driving, people are clearing road for him. This is the uh, Zambian number one. Yeah. It breaks their heart, especially Shufia Tayari and the, and the other 5,000 people behind him. Yeah. They never knew that it would happen. And yet it happened. Protect your president. I must tell you that Zambia is in the right track. Allow the likes of Sia One. The Oka party will come and waste their money. They are good in wasting money. They will come and waste their money. And they will cry. At the last time. I will end the program here. We are going to come live again. I will announce it. It's going to be like this. Eh? Until this detractor retrace his step and come back to this political scene. This is where we need it. We need even more millions of voices in Nigeria here. Yeah? Shari Boy at his 70s is still a political activist in Nigeria here, speaking for the youth. And one of our youth is becoming lazy, sitting in the comfort of his house, addressing Zambians. As what? As a president or as what? Yeah? You are addressing Zambians as who? As the special advisor to Zambians on political matters. Is that what you are addressing Zambians as? Come and address Nigerians. Come and address us. I will even share that your address so that people will hear. You see? So, share this video and please, 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 please invite people to follow this page. Make sure that people follow this page. Go and recommend this page. Recommend this page. Drop a review on this page. Draw a, drop a review on this page. Recommend this page. Invite people to follow this page. Yeah? You will appreciate what this page is here to do for you. When I go through see one comment, I laugh and I enjoy. 
I will beat my 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 chest and say, we are doing it. We are doing it. We are doing it. Yes, we are doing it. So I will call it a night here, so that uh, people can wake up very early tomorrow and go to their workplace. Since President Nigeria has started encouraging people to work hard to be diligent and to be punctual in their workplace i'm going to allow you people to sleep because i know it's already 23 hours in zambia so you can sleep and wake up and be punctual to your work eh till next time we are going to see eh i love you all eh have a pleasant night rest <laughs>